painting. I'm Carol. Here's my buddy Squirt. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a nice landscape painting today. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas. I have put a little black gesso on there, and I did that with a sea sponge. And then I took a small brush and threw in some trees. What do you think, Squirt? How does that look? This is gonna be an easy one. Whenever you start with a canvas that's already been primed. Um, picture goes together much easier. I did put a little oil on this canvas. I do have it wet now and I've got some yellow ochre on my brush but boy I'm wiping it off because I don't want a lot of paint up there now. But I am going to put some yellow ochre in the sky. Maybe I'll leave myself a little white spot just, just so it doesn't get too yellow on me. What do you think Squirt? Oh we need a little more pink though. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Look out, Squid. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to be really fast. Oh. You can just push this, push this paint around. It goes everywhere now. Just get it on there and push it around. Oh, painting 84. God, we've been doing this for a long time, haven't we? Squirt painting 84. If you write to me, you have to tell me what painting 84. So I know what we're talking about. That's all. Otherwise, I'll never know. So let's push it around in the middle now. So the middle gets to be a little lighter than the rest right now. That was good. I'm going to run the same brush through just a little bit of alizarin. And maybe little X's, excuse me squirt, don't want to bother you or anything. Maybe just put a little X's around, Lizrin, Lizrin, Lizrin. Okay, maybe I can mix that up now. Then I just do fast little X's. Mix that up. Ooh. That makes a nice little glow. Excuse me squirt. In fact, that's looking so cute there. You see that, that glow through the trees looks so pretty? Let's let's make it show some more. <laughs> of course not sure he likes it when I get this vicious. He's not sure what's going on. Alright, that got that nice little glow peeping through the trees. I like that. I could even get a little of that down there. And get a little of that down there. I'm squirt, I'm back. Oh, this is my next color. I just picked up a little by accident. This is Doc Sienna. Okay. Doc Sienna, which is also light brown, you know, but they call it Doc Sienna, so what do I know? Squirt, you cannot bite my brush. It does not taste good, and it's not good for you. And I'm putting a little of that Doc Sienna all around the outside edge because I'm going to come back, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mix it in. I'll wipe off my brush, pretend it's clean. I don't want to clean my brushes till I'm all done painting. Because once you clean these big brushes and your odor is thinner, you know, they really get wet then and they're full of thinner. They don't dry out till tomorrow. And you don't want to put that thinner up here on your canvas. It'll do bad things. So look at that nice glow. It's light here. And it has a wonderful, nice glow. Just what I wanted it to do. Now, I can be as creative as I want. We could start up the top and work our way down. Now, those trees up there, I'm going to put a little foliage and highlights on those trees. But not a much. First, I'll come in and I'm going to tap in just a little dark stuff. Just to say I did it. I, these trees are almost like done. They don't need much attention at all. And this dark stuff I just made with everything I had left on the palette. It's a brown and black and green and blue and dark stuff. It's only important to me that it's dark. And I'm not putting a lot of paint on here because I don't have to. Trees are already dark. And I'm kind of hoping that, that I can peek through the trees in the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Squirt, but I'm going to have to do things over here, whether you like it or not. Oh, I have something to keep Squirt busy. He's been such a little dickens. Squirt, 
this is a this is a little wrapped up hog candy. Now it should take him quite some time to get that paper off that candy. Now I'm going to highlight those trees, and I'm just going to highlight them with any fanciful color I, I I'm in the mood to do. And I've got this. It's kind of a green, but it's a green with blue in it. And I'm using a clean oval brush so that I could just, let's see if I like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. I, I like sometimes just to use whatever color you feel like using. More important, you really got to pay attention to value. You know, is the color dark or light? Lights and docks. But there's no reason why you can't mix up your colors. Trees can be blue. They're not always green. Sometimes they're brown, you know. And because all this gesso work is done on here, all I have to do is give this a few little hits of the highlight. Oh look, he didn't unwrap it, he went right through the paper. Boy, that's like cutting to the chase, right Squirt? Now don't go eating any of that paper. Oh, he's just like me. He gets a hard candy, he's going to chew it up. He's not going to suck on it. He's going to chew it up. Actually, I think he's just chewing it and spitting it out. As long as he's having a good time, that's all that counts. We'll put a little bit back here. Oh, there it goes. That's it. It's all over. On the floor now. Nothing left but the paper, huh, Squirt? And maybe a little bit back here. I keep the back of the tree dark. You don't want a lot. You don't want a light. A lot of light back there. That's the dark part. That's the dark part. So look, that gesso's peeping through. That's really quite interesting. Oh, somebody stop me. Oh, please. Oh, I, I just, I, I need somebody to tell me when to stop. Okay, I will. I'll stop. No, no, I'm not done. I have to do this. I have to do this right here. I see it. I have to do it. I want to do that and make the little things hang down there. Okay, now I'll stop. No, 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 no. I want to do this over here. Okay, now I'll stop. Wow, that was tough. Let's come down here and decide what we want to do down here. And I already have little trees, but I know I want little bushes, and I already have a spot on little bushes. But I might want to tap in some more little bushes. And I will use my little fan brush for that. And maybe I'll stick with the same color for a while. Maybe I'll stick with that color. And if I'm tap, gee, before I do bushes, why don't I do some pine trees? How brave are we? Look, right there. Is that brave enough? Uh, sometimes I'm brave. Sometimes I'm braver than I should be. But so this little pine tree, I'm thinking that this little pine tree. Well, it's going to come down to there. I know that. And I'm thinking that this little pine tree has maybe had a bad winter. So there's parts of it missing. Scraggy. Scraggy pine tree. Well, that's scraggy, all right. Let's put another one. A bigger one. Oh, let's see. Let's decide where it is because it's going to be scraggy. Okay. Scraggy pine trees. What are you doing now? You're just, you just playing with what's left on the paper? So there it is. And then it missed a spot. And then it misses another spot, and then, and then it grew a little. Okay, and then maybe maybe it had a maybe it had a good year at the bottom. Okay, two scraggy pine trees, but I can't have two. You know, I've got to have uneven. Uneven's a very good thing. So, got to have three, right, Squirt? Can't have two. Let's decide where this guy lives, just in case. Just in case he has some missing spots, too. Well, there he has a missing spot. Okay. And there he has another missing spot. Okay. Scraggy pine trees. I'm going to tap that bottom out. Just missed it a little down here. Let that background show through a little. And we got scraggy pine trees. And you know what I think I'll do to those little pine trees? Let me take my liner brush and thin out some of that tree color. 
and give them some give them some scraggy little things here scraggy little branches because they're kind of dead trees dead trees there's one there and there's one here and there's one and there's one oh. you can get really weird once you start this this one's got to get bigger because what it did this is what I call bleed. When you add thinner on top of oil, it bleeds. So I, that tree's got to get bigger to, to, to hide that little fupa. Here we go. Took, took, took. A new top all together. Just got bigger. Okay. I think I'm going to put one, one more little tree, one more little guy over here. Just throw them in. Good old pine trees. I make them with a small fan and I throw them in fast as the dickens. They look better that way. Tap out its bottom. Make it fit into things. And I could even put some highlight on those trees. If I can find my fan brush. Here we go. So I got a web page. You got to write me on the web page so I can get letters. I love letters. Um, like some liquid white, some titanium white, maybe just a speck of blue. Okay, so you're all done with that squirt, huh? You had fun with that? And I'm going to just give these little trees a few extra little hits. Now, now I'm really taking liberties, right? I started out green and I'm adding a little blue. You can do that. You can do your world you can do what you want okay now let me come back and think about where I'd like some more bushes and I and we should and maybe change my my bush color I've got the tree color and I've really mixed it with blue and it sort of looks like a muddy gray now and there might be a little bush in here so I push I push uppy with my fan brush and I'm going to tap out the bottom. Maybe this one over here. Oh, Squirt's side. Look at him. He's coming for me. Squirt, can I put one over here? Oh, no. No, you can't have it. It's mine. And I'm going to tap out their bottoms. I don't tap out the top. I only tap out the bottom. And so anybody notice that I, the trees I put up top, I also put down below so that that's water down there, and all the trees are down in the water now, too. Ooh, that's a nice color. So, everything that happens up top also happens in the water. So let me put some of that color down there, too. And let me put, go back to that tree color and put a little upside-down tree in there. And, oh, just this one right there. That's an upside-down tree. Those upside down trees are always loosey goosey, so you don't work at them too hard. Because they're in the water anyway. <laughs> do those really fast. So maybe we could come in and just do a little more bushes, and let's see what they should be. I'm using the same brush, I'm just jumping around my colors. I got a little mauve. I wonder what that would look like. Oh, maybe I better, maybe I better put some blue in it. We don't want to be, we don't want to change ships too fast. As soon as I decide I like a color, we'll be all set. Okay, I can live with that. Put a little of that down there. I can live with that. Put a little of that down there. And a little, little, another little bush in here. And remember, everything that happens above, how it happens below. Tap out its bottom. Tap out its bottom. And highlight the top. So now I gotta go. I gotta get something lighter for highlight. Excuse me, Square. What a what a good bird you're being. He's got his little foot stuck up. That must mean he's taking a nap. White. White. 
Maybe just a speck of a lizard. And a speck of, of, of liquid white to thin it. Maybe that's a good highlight color. Right at the top edge of these little bushes. Looks awful white. Maybe better get another speck of a lizard in it. I mix my colors very often with the brush. I mean, I don't go crazy down there mixing colors. Just pull them together with your brush. It'll look more spontaneous and, and good in the end. Maybe put a little highlight on that little guy. And after I put that on, sometimes I like to come in and tap it down a little. On the bottom. I always tap it down on the bottom. Leave that top edge. Just tap the bottom. Okay, got little highlights there. And put some of that in the water, just in case we want it down there. Well, let's pull that water down and see what happens. Grab the color, pull straight down. Ooh, that's nice. Always works. You just, you decide where the land meets the water. In fact, it sh I just made an executive decision and decided it should be right there and right here. So now i got some color to pull down. Do, do, do. Do, do. And let's, you decide where the land meets the water and pull the paint down. All the way across. We may not keep it all the way across, but right now we got it all the way across. And just in case I leave this land showing here, I, we really want it kind of darker. Don't need that big hunk. We want it kind of darker on this side of the canvas. So I just put it there. Okay, I like that now. I like that. I always keep my light spot here and darker towards the edge of the canvas. That's to bring my eye. I want to, I want to bring your eye into where I want it to be. Now I'm going to make reflections out of this. I have a clean brush, a clean two inch brush, and I'll do that right here first. Then I'll, then I'll wipe the whole thing gentle. Make it look like reflections, and then we can come back for a little waterline. Little waterline. I always use liquid white for my waterline. I might put just a little speck of blue in it. I flatten that liquid out, look white out just like frosting on my palette. I wipe my knife so I can see what I'm doing. I come across the liquid white with a nice neat roll of paint and I put the roll of paint on the bottom. And wherever you decide the land meets the water, you just start scraping there. I do have to wipe the knife and reload. Yeah. Wipe the knife, reload. You can't do it all on one knife load, that's for sure. And put a little over here. Water lines are very effective. You might have to practice a little to get that water line to work for you. But once you get it to work for you, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to be putting them everywhere. You'll be putting ripples on everything. Let me put a ripple right there and see how that looks. Maybe put a little ripple right here. See how that looks. As long as they're straight. Water lines need to be straight. Like flat. Like carpenter level flat. They can't go uphill. They can't go downhill. The water line up over on the back side. I think should be a little darker. Because I'm thinking it's in the shade. So I'm just going to add a little color to my liquid white. And come in with some color. Very pretty color. Kind of a teal. This whole picture is kind of a teal. We did this picture in class. It was lots of fun. Everybody had different colors. There was not two pictures alike. Squirt, if you learn to make water lines, you could have that whole side of the canvas to yourself. And I would tell you what to do and you could just do it. Right? Since you like to be the boss over there. He likes to be the boss over there. Yes. No, no, no. You're not getting my knife or nothing. Uh-uh. That, that color looks so good. I think I'll put some ripples here. You see how good they look when they're dark? Because that's the dark place. And it doesn't matter what color they are. 
just matters what, sh what value it is. That's what matters. Okay, that was fun. Gee, I almost think I need something right here. Maybe I should tap in a little highlight right there. Just kind of, kind of looks like we missed it all together. I'm gonna take care of that in a minute. See? Okay, that's it. Took care of that in a minute. Um. Well, let's get a little land down here too. Let's get a little something, which means we have to. Tap in some dark stuff first before we decide what to do with it. So, let's put it on this side. Oh, of course that's squirt side, so it's pretty chancy, but excuse me, squirt. We're coming in. We're coming into your side, and it's going to come over here. We have to get the dark on. Squirt gets to go for a ride. How do you like that, squirt? Oh, maybe I'll make it cover this dark stuff up right there anyway. Yeah. That's my little landfall over there. Maybe I'll just put a little bit over here. Okay. Just a little bit over there. Now I've got something to highlight and work on. Oh, what should we highlight that with? We're having so much fun. I think we should be a little lighter because we're more forward on the canvas. Right. So we can afford to be a little lighter. I just put more white in my highlight color. I put a little more liquid. Let's see what this looks like. Now that's a pretty color. Alright, I'm going to use a little of this color, but I might change my mind because it's almost the same color as the water. And that's bothering me. So, so let me back off to something else. Let me back off to... Ooh. Ooh, right over here. This mauve looky stuff. I'm just having fun now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's nice. See? See? I'm just having fun now. So I want to tell you, it doesn't matter what color you use. Just as long as you're having fun. And your values are right. So why don't you pick out the colors of your bedroom? Mix them up on your palette and just do a happy landscape just in those colors. I bet you'll like it when you're done. So tapped in those bushes. Well, maybe we need some twigs up front here. So let me, let me find my liner brush and thin down some brown or brown or whatever. Watch out for that bleed, though. You know that bleed. You get that when you, if you have oil on the canvas and you bring thinner up to it, there's always the chance of the bleed. Let me see. Oh, not too bad. Okay, all right. Just not going to do it for me now. I start at the bottom for a twiggy, and I go up, and I shake a little. Start at the bottom, go up, shake a little, maybe put a few extra doofers on it. Well, have to have paint on the brush for that to work. A few extra doofers on it. And we could have some little twigs coming right out of here. Go right over that water line. Well, that got kind of big, so it better have a bigger bottom, right? That's easy to fix. Just got a bigger bottom. Okay, give it a little twig. Oh, give let's give it a little few more little twigs. And this little guy could be bigger. And this little guy could be bigger. Oh, you know what? We just come back from Disneyland. Can you believe it? Tony and I went to Disneyland. Two grown people had the time of our lives. Disneyland is not for kids. Well, it is for kids, but believe me. It's not just for kids. Because we went, and we were just big kids, and we had a wonderful time. Rode on every ride they have. Well, I rode on a couple of roller coasters, and then I quit. And Tony went on every other roller coaster they had. Tony, my husband, he had a wonderful time. He went on them all. 
Okay. Now I could do twigs forever. Somebody has to stop me. You have to stop me. So this is just a little exercise. And you, you, you prime the canvas with gesso. And then you tap in your landscape any colors you choose. Match your bedroom. Match your living room. Wouldn't that be fun? You write to me. I'll send you the directions to this picture. I know you can do it. What do you think, Squirt? And write me some email. Check out my webpage. So I'll see you next time. Happy painting. Bye-bye now.